Hello everyone, this is General Hire Your Name. Welcome to my war room in Prince George, British Columbia. We're uh, going to get started here. It's Saturday. We're uh, continuing with our Battle in the Bush game that we were we started yesterday. The guys just arrived yesterday from Alberta and so uh, we didn't start until, I don't know, like 2.30 in the afternoon or something. We did manage to get through the pre-war and so now we are, are at war. War has broke out in the war room in Prince George, British Columbia. So we'll take a look at the incomes here. If you don't know what's going on, then the other video is only 20 minutes long. Just go take a look at how we got here. I'm just going to quickly remind you. Um, the Republicans won the Civil War. Um, uh, Germany did attack uh, France. Uh, they haven't attacked Paris yet. They did attack this, but the French managed to take it back, which really threw a... a a wrench in, into Germany's plans. Um, Germany is uh, going with War Plan Z. So they've got a bunch of boats here, but the thing is they're committed to buying uh, just a ton of boats, right? And you look here, they don't have many land units because of that. They've been spending like 12 bucks a turn on on their uh, on their war, uh, or on their boats. And <laughs> me and Moose are laughing at him. Moose is playing the, the commentary. We're, we're, we're laughing at Ryan Kirk because he's playing the, the Axis. But the truth is, you know, like at some point he's going to have all these boats on the board and we're all going to be running for our lives, right? Like it's it's a huge navy that you're building. He's going with the 1938 setup of the uh, Earth scheme. And so he's going to have tons of them. And he also has the, the Turkish on his side. We're playing with Turkey at war. And so the Italians are, uh, are, using, are, are playing the, the Turks. Uh, so the, tur the Turkey plays as its own uh, independent power and uh, we're also playing with partisans like you see here's a Turkish partisan here and the partisans are just given the Japanese fits here in, uh, in um, China like we've got lots of uh, communist partisans in here and you see the green one that's uh, the nationalist partisans and then they've got some of them up here like the partisans are just everywhere. So it's fun when you're winning the game, but the problem is is that the, you've got lots of partisans to contend with when that happens. Um, uh, so uh, the British, are, they're, they're putting a second complex down there. The, beginning this turn, they'll have that one. And we're all going to have our weapons this turn too, because 1939, we developed these weapons in a house rule that I use where everybody gets one. We, we rolled for those on the second turn of the game just to see what we would get. And that's what it is. The Americans are not even close to being at war here. You see the Japanese there, that's where that marker is down there, that battleship with the flag on it. So they're just they're just gonna work over the Italians as or sorry, the Chinese as much as they can. And another thing we decided to do when we got up today, we're gonna play with the elite fighter squadrons. So here's all the stuff that we need here. Uh, but we're not going to do it like they do it in the, in the rules, like uh, in here, the elite fighter squadrons. Um, we're not going to piss around with pulling them out of a cup and everything. What we're going to do is <laughs> each guy is just going to get all five of his planes and we're going to put them on the board. And we're going to use them like they use them in the book, uh, in the rules. But we're just, we've just decided, like, we're, we're playing with so many expansion sets already that rather than trying to learn in the middle of this game how to play it, We'll, we'll just throw these planes on the board and, and use the stats for them and uh, the special abilities or whatever. Like this mosquito here, that's going to uh, that's going to knock down the intercept value of any fighters that oppose it by two. So you throw him in, into a bombing raid and, and there you go, right? Like uh, their fighters are only going to intercept at two, whereas your uh, escorts are, are still going to be going in at three. And uh, we've got the night witches here. Uh, the, they're... Uh, carpet bombing and there's no defense against it uh, we'll talk more about that later anyway so we're gonna use this, this Messerschmitt here he works as a fighter and a bomber so he, he's gonna he's gonna be a killer anyway so that's it we're just gonna we're gonna get started here and uh, and we'll see what happens battle in the bush part two okay so uh, where are we here 1940 we're in 1940 and uh, lots happened this turn uh, Paris fell. That was the first thing that happened, and um, he had a few things left there. Uh, and he also he did his his double attack, and, and rather than use it in there because he only had to take one out, um, he used it against Poland. So he wiped out Poland, 
And then they signed the Molotov Ribbentrop pack like a couple of dirty dogs over there. They're just divvying up things and laughing at General Hand Grenade. I don't think that's fair, but you know, whatever. They, you know, they, they, they gotta sleep sometimes. <laughs> I probably won't feed them tonight. So, um, what else happened? Oh, uh, to get them back, uh, I, uh, th there was a whole bunch of uh, torpedo boat destroyers in the coastal sub up there where you see those British boats up top. And I went in there and I wiped them out. I took my, my Air Force in and, and the, the boats that you see there. So that happened. And um, yeah, they just divvied up all this stuff. Uh, he aligned Romania, uh, added a partisan down over here. Russia attacked Azerbaijan and then uh, a partisan for the Turkey is over there. And they bought another transport. So when uh, France fell, um, the Allies were pretty lucky actually because France did manage to maintain six ships. So you see three of them up there near England and then there's a cruiser and a destroyer and a sub over here. The Vichy got two ships there's a transport and a torpedo boat destroyer, and the rest were scuttled. Germany didn't get any, so I'm uh, I'm feeling pretty lucky as a French player. The French decided to get their capital here in northern Algeria, and they actually I think they got more than half the land. I think half the money the money was divvied up 50-50, but I think they got more territories. Uh, you see around here, except like Japan did get that one over there. And they did get the one way down in the corner there by Anzac. The first tech weapon was built. There's a, a jet fighter up in London. I think that's the only tech weapon. And you can see if you look closely there, they're like there's a couple of uh, the, the elite, elite fighter squadron there. Uh, where did you put the night witches? That's right there. There's the night witches fighter in there. So that, that fighter, what happens is all he does is carpet bomb. He only goes two spaces and he carpet bombs. And there's no defense against it. You just go in. It doesn't matter if there's anti-aircraft guns or anything. You just go in there and you roll your dice and then you get out again. Um, Japan, uh, I don't think they did anything this turn, did they? Uh, did, oh, they took Nanking. Okay, so they took that out. And, but the Chinese took this back, so it's kind of a trade there. Uh, I don't think you lost anything, did you? One or two dudes yeah, taking it out? That's it. So that was it. Uh, these guys are going to start doing the, the sub-spam. <laughs> oh, this uh, another tech weapon. Yeah, they they put in uh, a uh, super or an advanced submarine. So there they go, and they've got uh, they've got uh, the one or two fighters over there. They're advanced. I think. Oh, geez, I put that other one on the wrong side. Oh well, I can fly them over. I got lots of time. So anyway, that's the end of the turn, and we've moved to 1940. Uh, a couple of uh, tech rolls uh, went well. The Germans uh, moved their improved shipyards over. The Russians, what did they get? Did, uh, didn't wartime you? Economy. Oh, wartime economy along with the British. And the British also got, I guess they didn't. The Americans got one on improved shipyards. And oh, and they went over on, on uh, heavy bombers as well. They got one on heavy bombers. So that's where we're sitting, 1940. Mm -hmm. See you later. Okay, so Moose finally took his finger out of his ass and decided he was gonna attack somebody. He, uh, he went and he took Finland here. Ooh, tough guy. <laughs> anyway, so he's, he's finally in the game. Uh, I guess he did do one attack earlier here. He, he, he threw a rock at a guy over there, but that's about it. But um, what else is happening? It looks like these guys are, what are you building here, a factory? Yeah. This factory is drunk. It's laying on its side here, okay. Um, da, 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 da. So he's building more ships here. What's this one? This is probably the H-39, eh? Oh yeah, look at that. That's a nice one. Yeah, so he's he's uh he's starting to put some planes or boats on here. I had, I had killed five boats over here last turn. I think I told you about that one. Uh, he took this he took Normandy back. I had taken it from him, um, so he's taking it back. Uh, da, 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 da. What did Italy do? They just bought one thing, didn't they? Bought a marine. Oh, they bought a marine. Ooh, tough guys. Yeah. And uh, oh, look at that. Roll. Didn't do one of those. Okay, so um we we did some more tech rolling here. There's yeah, lots of tech, tech, tech on there. Roll. Which tech? I forgot my tech roll for did you, but did you I, hit it, but I just missed it. Oh, I feel sad for you. Yes, I'm sure you will. Okay, would. so uh, what happened over here? Yeah, the Americans are halfway to getting heavy bombers. Uh, they did get on the long range aircraft. Um, the uh, d didn't somebody complete one this turn? 
Oh, uh, I know what we did. Moose here. We we uh, we felt sorry for him because he had that advanced submarine warfare, but he doesn't have a convoy line. Like this convoy line here doesn't do anything, right? It's 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 just you know like just for show basically. So we took pity on him and we let him roll a nine, but that means he's got to do dishes tonight. So, um, and I think uh, I don't think he moved anything along down there. Did uh, anybody move up? Heavy armor. And oh, he moved heavy armor up. Yeah, okay. Or, or no, yeah, he, did, he started to do it. And improved factors. Okay. So there we go. There. And what's going on down here? Um, Japan. They're just pretending they're tough. You know. I think. Oh, there was a big battle in here. I think I killed four tanks on him there. But then he managed to take it out eventually. And he took something back over here. I think he's got Nan King down there. Um, what else is going on? Ooh, look at this deck. Ooh, ah. He's like, he loving the fact that he's got some money finally. <laughs> I'm not loving that, but he is. I, I, I oh, this thing's supposed to go on. This, uh, I, I see, watch me cheat here. So <laughs> I paid five bucks for that. So this is going on. There we go. That's a light cruiser, American light cruiser. That's cool. And I, I, um, I bought an Iowa class battleship, so that's going to be a while, but it'll eventually get on. These guys are continuing their sub spam and they move their boats back. They just want to move these guys up just to, you know, just see what life is like up there, you know, go play with some Aborigines in New Guinea. Um, India, if, uh, if, the, if the Japanese do, don't, don't do something quick there, India is going to be too powerful. Um, what do they got there? Well, there's only one red chip there. So India is buying lots of stuff. They're not just buying dudes, right? But they did move their, their boats over here because uh, they're going to go bitch slap India or Italy pretty soon. They, they figured uh, rather than losing them to the, uh, like it doesn't look like there's much over here, but this one here is all of those boats and, and shit over there. Who knows, they might even be coming after Calcutta this turn. I wouldn't doubt it. We'll find out. Um... France, they, they just they don't have enough money to get a factory yet, so uh, they just put one of the colonial infantry on. That was it. Um, are you ever going to roll for Argentina or what? Well, we can do that this turn. He's going to roll for Argentina. You know what we're going to do though? We're going to go back to the old rules. The old rules were here. You you, you describe it. Okay. The old rules was uh, you got uh, one roll. You had to pay two bucks if you got a one or a two. Germany got Argentina, and whatever the face value of that, if it was a fail, was an American income increase. So we're hoping it gets 12s every time. So you keep rolling. In the new rules, uh, you only roll once, and if you fail, then ah, too bad. You don't, you're never going to get Argentina unless you bring the units down and attack it. But he's going to get a chance to get it every turn, but if he fails, I get the money, and that's pretty sweet. So let's hope he, let's hope he fails. Everybody, get on your hands and knees and pray that he rolls 12s. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I appreciate that. Thank you in advance. Okay, take care everyone. We'll see you in a little while. Okay, so you see there, like all the French territories, there's no roundels on them. That means that those two guys surrendered and the Allies won the game. Okay, I'm just fucking with you. What happened was, uh, Ryan Carcass took the Germans there and he attacked uh, Marseille there, which was Vichy controlled, which meant that all of the other territories went back to the free French which means I just took all the roundels off because I didn't need them anymore. Um, when we rolled for the boats, what happened? Uh, nothing, right? They uh, both... Germany got a oh, transport. Germ yeah, that's right. Germany that's got a it. transport, which I killed with this destroyer down in here. And then, uh, so they had a bunch of tanks and stuff up here. And I just love killing tanks in Marseille, right? So I came up with everything I had for the British. You can see my Navy is up here. And, um, and they came up and they killed all the tanks. The tanks didn't put up much of a fight. I think they were drunk on French wine or something. And then the Italians, they could have went in and right after them and took them out, but they're a bunch of crybabies, so they didn't want to declare war. Um, and uh, also I, I was able to restack, like the only thing I was worried about was restacking Cairo there. And I was able to restack it. I had a bunch of planes and a bunch of shit that I could put in there and all that got the two factories in there. So they were safe. Now the Turkish guys, they are congregating in there and they actually, they have this place here. They had two uh, partisans, which they were able to convert into one militia. So they actually have two dollars now instead of just one. And uh, the Russians have moved down into the Middle East there. You can see he's going after Iran there. Um, he's thinking there's oil in this game, but there isn't. Nice try, Moose. Okay, so and uh, you can see there's lots of buildup happening over there. 
Um, Ray Carcass was thinking about canceling his scheme there, but then he decided to keep going. But uh, you can see the, the shit ton of ships he's got there. And this is what the British have over here. Luckily, they got all those French ships, right? Um, but who knows what's going to happen. They might move some of these back up there. You got to remember they got jet fighters as well. So they've got a couple of jet fighters up there. Those, uh, those are pretty good. They, they're at eight or less. So what else is going on over here? Nothing much changed over here. Just a lot more buildup. A lot more buildup in Calcutta. Uh, I think the Japanese took one or two spaces in, in, in Japan here. Uh, I think one, one or two more partisans sprung up. And uh, not much going on over here just yet. He's thinking about taking Calcutta, but he, he's kind of a scaredy cat, so I don't know what he's going to do. And uh, the Netherlands, like the Netherlands, they're just they're, they're just getting drunk over here. They don't know what else to do because nobody wants to attack them. Everybody's scared. Uh, we built a coastal gun down here in, in uh, Sydney, so that's something new. That's about it. These guys are getting bored too. The Americans, oh, i got to roll the Americans' money. Let's do that while we got you on camera here. So, if the Americans can roll... What do I need here? I got 35. So if I can use a D12 and roll 28 with it, then I'm in the war. <laughs> That's not gonna happen though. So six. So the Americans go up six bucks. What are we at? 35, 41. So I still got a ways to go. I still got uh, more to go. But um, the tech, everybody keeps uh, developing tech. Everybody seems to be having good luck over there. So a lot of things moving along. Although not too many finished yet, uh, the Americans are getting close to finishing some. The British are getting close. Russia only needs one more for heavy armor. Um, the Germans only need one more for advanced mech. So that'll be good for them. And I think that's about it. Where are we? We just, uh, I've moved this already, right? So we're in, we're in 1941. So Jim Belushi is going to go attack a submarine off the coast of Cal California. We'll be back. Okay, so we made it to July of 1941. You see these uh, bunch of subs here and the heavy destroyer. That's the last thing that Germany has to put on for their War Plan Z. And you can see what a ton of stuff they have. And over here, these are the British boats that oppose them. And there's a couple more British boats down over here and over here. So, you know, it's pretty close. Uh, well, we're, we're on the fence right now. We'll find out when they clash if that was a good idea or not. He has managed to... Um, put some ground units on, but the Russians haven't even attacked them yet. Like you look at all the brown in there and you look at there's not quite as much black over here, right? I have a feeling that's going to change pretty soon. And then over here, like France, uh, the, um, the, the British are, have taken back almost half of France. So uh, without all those ground units, like when you think of how many ground units you could have bought with all this, we're kind of on the fence about that. Uh, probably leaning towards maybe don't do that again. Um, over here, oh Jesus, you should have seen this battle. If I had had it on camera, it would have lasted forever because I, I, I would have had to pick myself up laughing. <laughs> this guy, uh, he lost 17 here in Yunnan. Like there was no Chinese guys left, but he killed, I don't know, it was like seven, maybe 800 Japanese guys. Like there's no way you can go after Calcutta in the next four hours because he lost like so many, you just wouldn't believe it. Like I think 13 tanks alone and just a shit ton of guys like uh, the it uh he just he just couldn't help himself he just kept going and going and going and losing and losing and losing um the uh you can see the russians here they got their purchases getting ready he's got uh four heavy tanks so he did develop heavy tank technology there um uh the british are uh are rolling lights out with the technology them and the americans so the, they're all over there um, I don't think the Germans finished one this time. They've got their improved shipyards now. And their advanced mechanized infantry has moved over. But yeah, you can see the Russians, they've got their, their heavy armor and their strategic rockets, which is not thrilling whatsoever. Their wartime economies moved over, their improved factories, so they'd like to get those. But yeah, and the Germans, yeah, advanced mechanized over. But uh, the Italians, they still haven't done anything yet. It's, I don't know, I think Mussolini's asleep or something. I'm not sure. But um, America's getting closer and closer to the wartime income. So Japan can't hide forever, right? And the fact that they just got bogged down in China over there, like the Chinese, they were only able to build one in here, but they moved a couple over here. So they still haven't got uh, the road blocked. 
and they still got to take out this, 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 and this in order to get all of China. So I don't know if they're going to keep going or if they're going to go after Calcutta. Like Calcutta's getting pretty stacked up by now, right? And also Malay down here has got lots of stuff on it. Plus they got the Ford and they got the coastal gun, so that's not going to be easy to take. Um, not much happened in the Med except that uh, the Italians uh, they had a, 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 a cruiser and a battleship sitting on the build chart for the the entire game. They finally decided to finish those. They didn't want to look look too strong, I guess. I'm not sure. <laughs> but, forgot him. Well, he forgot him. Okay. Just, forgot him. Well, the other thing is that, you know, Italy doesn't get that much money. Sure, you could go finish that battleship, but then, you know, what, what aren't you going to do? Because with Italy's money, you can only do one or two small things every turn, right? So, I mean, they've got lots of, uh, they've got a couple of transports in there now, and they've got lots of Marines there. Uh, they've, they've brought some stuff down here. So they, they can come down to Africa if they want, but they've got all those ships sitting in the way there. Because the, the British had moved, I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, the British moved their ships out of there. They figured, why lose them to the Japanese when they can actually stand up to somebody over here, especially somebody that doesn't want to attack anybody. Um, the French here, they, they're, they're in the middle of building a minor factory. This is where they've moved their capital to. But you probably remember that. It's been hours for me. It's probably only been a couple minutes since it happened for you watching this video. And nothing else happened. Uh, these guys, after they rolled lots of money for the Americans, they, they decided to chicken out over there. So I don't know if he's ever going to get back to that, trying to get Argentina. And am I forgetting anything? I think Russia's going to come unglued here. We'll see. Russia's going to come unglued, and then Turkey's going to get mad, and, and the fur's going to fly, and I'm going to go cook dinner while these guys beat the shit out of each other. That'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> be back. Okay, so we're we've reached January of 1942, and we're getting hungry, so we're gonna go and do some barbecue and out, out outside there. But uh, lots happened this round. Lots happened. Uh, uh, Russia finally came unglued, and they they went down here. They they declared war on the Germans, which totally fucked me because if if Germany had declared war on the Russians, then I would have got a roll of D12. And I'd be at wartime income probably right now with the Americans. But that didn't happen. It went the other way. So at least they're at war now. So then uh, also Turkey and Italy declared war as well. So now everybody's into the game. So Turkey came down here and, and they took out Transcaucasia, which is worth five. And they pretty much had to. Because you look at all the shit that Russia's got here. Like just a ton of it, right? Uh, and not as much for the Germans because of all those boats over there. Sure, they got a nice navy, but that's about it. And so, and also the Japanese said, you know what, I'm going to put pressure on them over here in the, in the Soviet Far East as well, right? So uh, that's uh, the, uh, so the Axis had to do something. So uh, they, they were using their, um, their Turkish to uh, try to open up another front so that that'll distract the Russians down here. Plus they, they came up here and they took out the Russian fleet, fleet that was in the Black Sea as well. Um, which took a little heat off of me and I needed to because the other big development this round was the Italian Navy totally diced the British Navy. I had quite a few boats in there and and he came in and uh, took me out in two rounds. Like he rolled really well and I just rolled so-so. Rolled like not terrible, but you know, I, I did take a number of ships off him, but he really rolled well. So yeah, big, big move there. And then uh, he's finished his war plan Z. I think he finished it last turn. You look at the size of this navy, it, uh, it's hard to see because it's all black and everything. But like there's a stack of subs in here. There's uh, what is there eight subs there. You don't have to see a, a German navy that big, right? And then he's got like a battle cruiser and he's got a, a H-39 battleship. Uh, there's a fleet carrier and a, a light carrier. He's still got ships over here too. Like he's got two battleships that he hasn't even moved along. One of them was the, the one you start the game off with. He hasn't even moved it at all. And the other one is the French battleship. And uh, I think that's the French cruiser as well. So he was he was paying off the ones that he had to pay off. And then now these ones he can pay at his leisure, right? Like he's going to need to build up his land troops first though. But um, he's got those, like uh, those guys here are going to go against this navy over here probably, right? And then he's going to have some battleships to put on later. So he's doing good there. Uh, if it wasn't for the Russians uh, coming after him, then he would be doing really well. 
what I did to try to stop that though, you see like my boats are right here in this spot right here in the English Channel, right? So what I did was I, I split up uh, my fighters here and he's only got one transport. So I'm not worried about him taking my land, right? So I was able to split my, my, my planes up. So I've got a, a jet fighter, one of the meteors there and a high war party and a regular fighter over here. And then I got a jet fighter and a regular fighter. And then this fighter here is from the elite fighter squadrons. So he's going to be plus one defense. So I'll be able to scramble five fighters and good ones into the English Channel there if he comes after me, which he's going to have to. I mean, what what else did he build a huge navy for, right? Uh, he's got to do something with it. Otherwise, it's just a complete waste. So I expect him to come after me. And then uh, besides that, though, there's also a meteor over here and a regular fighter. And then I've got, you know, a fairly decent navy, not huge. Uh, was able to save a lot of the French uh, boats. So they're doing okay. And there's only just a couple of boats down there. Now these guys here haven't changed color, but because the uh, because Russia is at war with Germany now, these are all Russian territories in here now. And those are Russian units. We didn't change them because they're so close to the Russian colors. Uh, there wasn't much point in changing them. But that's all Russian now. And um, so he's he's got Germany surrounded in here. Uh, the Germans have come down and taken Yugoslavia because uh, with the Turkey at war rules because Turkey's now at war that means that Greece goes to the British so the British was able to, to get these two territories plus the destroyer in there so that's going to help them out now Japan has been fucking around for the longest time trying to get uh, Yunnan right and he finally took it out, but with only one guy left. <laughs> so, yay, he was all excited. He, he, got, he finally got Yunnan. So um, the, the, the Chinese don't have any income whatsoever. The only territories they have left is this one, and this one, and this one, and neither and none of them are worth anything as far as uh, income. So they have no income left. The only thing that they're going to be able to get is lend lease from now on. But I probably won't do that, right? Like, I'll just uh, see how long those guys can hold out. Because it's down here now. The, the, and also, the Americans are almost in the war. Like, their income right now is at 57. And once it hits 63, then uh, then it's say hello to Japan, you know? <laughs> They're sailing across. And they've got, um, they've got heavy bombers now, right? There's a heavy bomber, the first one. And they've got three super subs in there. And they've got their first Iowa class battleship on there, so they're just they're just licking their lips, they're uh, they're waving at the Japanese girls. We're coming to get you, honey. <laughs> and and uh, Anzac has been slowly building up. The Americans have been land leasing fighters down here, so they've got Marines down here. They've got they've got stuff up here. They've got three subs and they've got just a cruiser and a and a. Uh, a transport but uh, they're pretty secure back home like they've got um, they've got a coastal gun and they've got uh, a fortification so they're not too worried about Japan like Japan could take them if they brought their whole fleet down you know but you know and then, then they're leaving Calcutta alone so that would be fine with that if he wanted to do that and uh, over here uh, I guess uh, yeah, the Italians when when they when they did that with the fleet, they came down here. They're about to lose their transports. That's that's a no-brainer for me to take those out. But um, they brought these guys down uh, just in time for France to put a factory on. So the French, I don't know that they can stop them there. The British might have to help out somehow. But the British are limited in what they can do because of that fleet up there. Um, so, but like I said, the Americans are almost in the war. So with with Russia putting a lot of pressure on them over there. Like they better dice uh, the British boats hard because then the American fleet's coming across the water. And if they if they have a lot of boats left, then they can they, they can stop them. Like I showed you the battleships that they still have over there and everything, they can actually stop the Americans because the the Russians are not going to be able to challenge them with their boats, right? So we'll see. It's going to come down to the rolling in the waters there. It's been interesting with the uh, with the the War Plan Z. Still uh, on the fence about it because they haven't done anything. Like their boats have done absolutely nothing. So we'll see what happens in the end. Like if uh, if all that uh, build up is is going to pay off for them or uh, if it isn't. So uh, I think that's just about it. Um, yeah, uh, Egypt for now is fairly secure, but uh, I wouldn't bet too much money on it. I'm going to take those transports out. But these guys can start making their way across, but I, I, they can't get there just yet. So 
I'm not too worried about them. Um, and that's about it, I think. Uh, Calcutta's looking good. Like I said, Anzac's looking good. Um, Japan, I don't know. If I was to, if I was to uh, guess, because we're we're taking a break now, if I was to guess, I'd say the Russia's winning the game right now. Um, but that's just my guess. So Moosey's just been uh, laughing at us. Go ahead, tag him. Did you see that he fingered you when you turned around? <laughs> when you were out having a smoke, he was calling you a homo. Yeah. So I think he's playing dirty pool anyway. So uh, anyway, that's it. That's what's going on here. We're gonna go get some dinner. All right then, so we're at the end of that round and that was January of 1942. And we're heading to July of 42. We're gonna take a break. Uh, we, we ate so much dinner, we're all just slow. You should see us, we're barely moving here. So maybe we'll take a little break and, and either get back at it or uh, or start up again tomorrow. We've still got seven turns left. Um, the only thing that's changed in the Atlantic here is the Americans are gearing up for war. But uh, like they were at 57 and they needed to get to 63. Check this out. They're at 62 when they did their roll. So they're not at war yet, but they will be at war next turn. But anyway, they, they bought a bunch of transports and shit. And these things here, uh, these markers here, it was just getting too much stuff in there. So those two places there, they're down there on those cards down there. So that's where the, all the American stuff is. Other than that, nothing um, changed up here because that big bottle that I thought was coming from the from the German Navy that you see over here is sitting here. That's where the Russian Navy used to be. He went to the Russian Navy, and it was probably a good move because what did Russia have? About four or five ships in there. Yeah. So like he was able to take them out easily, right? But uh, if he had gone over here and we both just about killed each other, then Russia would have had the only Navy up here and he might not have been able to get them back. But by taking these guys first, now if he goes and takes these guys, then uh, at least he doesn't have the Russian Navy, Navy breathing down his neck, right? So the fight's going on on the Eastern Front here. Um, they're quite engaged. I think uh, this has changed hands every single turn since they started fighting with each other. Um, it, the Germany has made it down as far as Greece down here. Uh, what else? Yeah, just uh, stuff changing hands back and forth here. I wasn't watching. I was cooking while these guys were doing their turns here. So I, you know, I'm just kind of going off of uh, what I see, right? But I, I was back when uh, there were the, the Italians. They, they took out uh, what was left of boats. There's no, no Allied boats, no uh, Russian boats at all. Uh, between them and the Turks, they, they took out everybody that's in the Med. So uh, they were ruling the Med. And you can see they, they took out France's second capital. So France has got to start working on a third capital now. Uh, they're threatening Cairo over here. Although Cairo is stronger than them, they do have one transport. I'll see if I can somehow get a plane over there. I don't think I can, which is a shame because that would have been nice to take that sucker out. Um, Turkey. That's uh, that's sure added a lot. We were talking about that over dinner, you know, like uh, it's it's added something to this game. But then we talk about well, what if the Allies had it? You know, that would have been something too, but it would have been completely different. It just it just uh, it, what it does is it really it transforms the battle in the Mediterranean. Uh, so we'd like to see it sometime where it was in Allied hands, and another time where it was in the common terms hands, just to see the difference in the games, uh, because it does make a difference. They they get quite a bit of stuff the Turks. Uh, throughout the course of the game plus they get money and can buy stuff right so that that was interesting and uh, there's been quite the fight going on down here and if it wasn't for the Axis owning this then uh, I tell you the the Germans would be in a world of hurt because the the Russians had to d divert their attention down here and over here to, to where the Japs are uh, they did that on purpose because uh, because of over here like uh, Germany would be really hurting if it wasn't for those two other fronts opened up on them there. Now Japan has still not done anything to anybody except for the Chinese. Uh, they're just scared of all the white people, right? So who can blame them? I mean, but uh, yeah, like the Netherlands is still the Netherlands, and uh, uh, these guys finally got tired of waiting. So I, I took some subs from down here and I attacked. He had a he had a boat here. And I took these guys. So basically the Commonwealth has declared war on Japan. They couldn't wait any longer. Thinking that America was going to join the war this turn. And they didn't. But I think uh, he's going to attack anyway now. 
because there, there's no sense in him waiting. Like I, even if I fell down, I'd still get a one and I'd be at war next turn. So he might as well attack me now, right? And I, I think he's still got more than me here um, because uh, like he's got those ships, but he's got other stuff around, right? And like if I come across, then he's got all those planes as well. Whereas I don't have many planes at all. I've only got, I've only got one carrier in there, no small carriers. Uh, the only thing I got on the build chart is an Iowa battleship, and it's a long ways away. So it's going to be a while before I, I get over there. Calcutta is pretty secure right now, that's for sure. Like, he still hasn't done his one uh, attack. What's that called, that Japanese attack? Surprise. But surprise attack or something like that. He still hasn't done his surprise attack, so um, I expect it to happen on the next turn. Um, and... Like Calcutta's got so much stuff there, I'd be surprised if he was able to take it out. Yeah, like he might be able to take out Malay or something, but I don't think he can take Calcutta. Uh, I who knows? I could be wrong. I think you actually took it away when you attacked me with the Commonwealth. I can only get yeah. the Americans. And the, yeah, that's and and that's what I was thinking. And I can't yeah. reach them. So yeah, because I, I moved my boats up here, so I don't think he can get in there now mm -hmm. to attack him. So he's he's. Uh, Maybe you can attack uh, Hunan here with your surprise attack, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, like, the, the, he totally, he, he's doing a really good job down here in the med, though. Now he's got himself a complex down here that the French were nice enough to buy for him and everything. And um, that was really big time when, when we had that fight here and he diced me because, uh, like, if it would have went the other way, then this would be a totally different story in here. But because he got me and he still had battleships and cruisers left, that made a huge difference. Uh, now he, he controls the med. He controls everything that happens down here. I'm just basically reacting to him down here. And the Russians, they don't have any more boats. They came out. Uh, they had some the, the Republican boats and, and they were using those. But uh, they're gone now. Uh, Germany's, or the Italians have mopped up everything along with the Turks. So... That's how it looks here. I'll show you, give you a little bit of a close up here. These are uh, elite marines, the ones that are on these chips, they're different color chips. And uh, there's one back there. And then the, the white ones are just regular marines. There's a tank in there. So they're gearing up. They've, they've got one more turn before they can come across at least. So they'll probably be buying, depends. Like it depends on what happens with those navies up there. Obviously the Americans are gonna need more cover if they dice those guys and they have like, <laughs> eight warships left, then I, I can't just come flying over with my warships. I'm gonna need more, right? So we'll see what happens there. And these guys, again, uh, fairly similar, the navies, um, when you get when you throw in all those planes over here. So we'll see what happens. I think that's about it though. I don't know if we're gonna play another turn tonight or not. Uh, I guess you'll find out <laughs> when you watch this video tonight. <laughs> see you then. Well, that was indeed a very long day. It's uh, it's just about midnight here, I think. I don't know, it might even be after midnight now. We're, uh, we just wrapped up 1942, so we're going into 1943, and we're going to call up for our night. we got six more turns tomorrow, so we should be able to get it done. We, we did seven turns today. Um, what you're looking at here, uh, you can see Turkey and how much they've been able to spread out. They, uh, they actually did really well for themselves. Um, they've got uh, Russia tied up on their southern border here, which you take all of those away from Barbarossa, and, and uh, that makes a huge difference because you look over here at Romania. Romania's got a ton of stuff in here, right? And uh, if you take all those Russian units and put them over here, then bang, Romania's gone, and then there's not much after that. But those, uh, that was a big deal when, when he rolled and got Turkey there, that's for sure. <laughs> I was about to get him and he, like we both had three, you needed four, um, four tokens. And uh, I, we were both at three and he rolls before me and he got it. Otherwise, I was hoping to get it. But it sure makes a big difference. Um, so what else? Well, uh, oh, I know, the Netherlands uh, finally got attacked, but not this one here. They actually attacked, it was Japan that, that used their uh, surprise strike to get them because they couldn't surprise the British. The British had already attacked them and the Americans were too far away. They, they were not in position to attack the Americans. So they just went after the, the Netherlands down there and they didn't do great 
We'll get down there in a minute though. So these guys here, and uh, there was boats out here that went to the British. They, they've been incorporated in here already. And because of that, the British were able to move some boats down here and put some dudes in here. They took their plane off there because they wouldn't attack that. There was a big stack of, of Italians in there and the British moved out from Cairo and they brought some planes in and they managed to take that out. The French have decided to reestablish their capital here. They've got the Arc de Triomphe. They're, they're in London now. Uh, they couldn't go down at the bottom there because you see, you see the little giddy up horsey down there. So they, they couldn't go down to Belgian Congo because they would have lost their capital once again. Um, or perhaps anyway. The Americans there, they are at war and so they're just, uh, they just put on a bunch more transports and stuff. They're ready to come across the water um, on the next turn. So like they didn't want to do it this turn because they wanted more stuff. And the reason is because of this huge German Navy. Like you don't want to just come over and uh, you know, strutting your stuff and the <laughs> next thing you know, you're done, you know, because America does not have time. Nobody has time for the rest of this game to build another entire Navy, right? So what's happening up here? Well, um, they still have those two battleships that Germans do that like they, they're engrossed in a ground war right, right now. So they haven't been doing much here, but, uh, with America being at war now, um, Germany or Japan, has built a Yamato battleship, but that's that. That's uh, we, it's actually the Super Yamato skate, uh, sculpt, but we're I'm using them for just a regular Yamato battleship, just because they're so much bigger than the other battleships, and I like that. You know, if you're gonna have a heavy battleship, then make it look like one. And they got a couple of fleet carriers that you start the game off with, but you don't get until you're at war with the Americans. So the Americans are already, and they've started going on this side. They've come down here and, oh, I forgot to put a pie on there. So I will have to do that. Uh, so they've taken out the Caroline Islands and from there they can move forward. Um, they've got uh, four uh, ground units in there and they've got more ground units up there that are coming down. Um, so I don't know if they're gonna move across the water just yet. We'll see what the Japanese do. Like if, if their fleet is still spread out then they might come across and do something. They also leased another fighter down here because you remember uh, these guys had six submarines down here and a cruiser and they had a couple of planes and so they took everything they had into here where there was a, a, a pile of Japanese ships here and they hoped they had, ho had hoped to do more. Um, the Japanese got the better of them but they did they did uh, like the 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 Anzac weren't doing anything else with their with their stuff anyway. So they did take some stuff off them. They took a plane off and I think they took a couple of ships and then they damaged these ships. But they, they, they had hoped to do better than that. Anyway, it wasn't so bad. The uh, the Japanese failed to take this. They they did manage to take this one here and this one here. They haven't they forgot to put their pies on there. And they took the Philippines down here. So the the Philippines has fallen. Um, this remains untouched right now, uh, the FEC. Nothing really happened in uh, China. Like he, he was uh, going after islands at this turn with Japan. Yeah, nothing happened in China, except for partisans. They, they did some rolling around and did some stuff. And we already looked at that. And um, yeah, the, uh, the Italians are actually, uh, I'm missing my partisan here. Yeah, I was wondering what happened to that guy. There was one laying on the side here. Okay, so that guy's there. Uh, not partisan, I mean militia, right? Yeah. Okay, so that guy's there. And, uh, yeah, Italy's looking pretty good down in, uh, in, in Africa here, as you can see. They got tons of stuff there. They did have a bunch over there, but like I said, um, the British knocked them down there. But uh, they're going to have to do something over here um, this next turn. If they still, you know, I guess they're going to have this one. They, they should put something down here, I think, on their factory. Um, actually, did they get the improved factories? Yeah. yeah, so they got improved factories. They can actually put two things here now. And they can put four things up at Cairo now uh, if they want to. But, I mean, they, they don't necessarily have enough money to do that. But we'll see, right? Um, the Germans, they placed five subs down here because they have this uh 
this shipyard down here. So they, they placed five subs in the med, and I think they were going to come out and do some convoying, but then I moved down those um, those uh, British boats there. So I think they got a little scared there, ran away. Help, mommy. Anyway, as you can tell, I'm pretty tired, so I'm going to wrap it up. We're going to get back at her tomorrow. I'll uh, start up uploading this tonight. Uh, maybe it'll be out in the middle of the night, or maybe it won't be till tomorrow morning. But I'll start uploading it tonight. So take care, everyone. Jenner Hand Grenade out.